Hello guys, welcome to Tech Vitals. Today we are going to learn how to create users and groups in Linux. So let's get started. Right now I am logged in as the root, you can see here. And we can go to cd slash home directory to see what other users are there besides the root. So now we are in the home directory and if we type ls then we have this paul user so the total users we have in this system right now is root and paul we can switch the users using su and the username paul so now i am logged in as paul user to switch back to root we can use su then minus and it will ask for the password of root now I'm logged in as root again so let's talk about how to create users in Linux to create the user we can use add user command or user add command we can use both add user or user add and then we have to type the name for that user so for example let's create a user named John okay now if we go to the home directory sorry slash home and if I type ls then now we have this John user and we can also go to etc slash pass wd to view what users we have in this system so let's press enter and if we go down at the bottom then you can see paul and john now let's exit this vi now to create the password for the john we can use pass wd and the username john now we can uh, set the new password so let's give some password okay now let's retype to confirm the password all right so it said all authentication tokens updated successfully so we created the username john and we also set the password for that username and we can also view the password but it will only show us the encrypted password so we can go to the slash etc slash shadow and at the bottom so for the poll we have this password but it's in encrypted form so it's just the cipher text and for the John here is the encrypted password let's exit the VI now since we created the John username we can also switch user uh, with John and now we are logged in as John to switch back to root SU then minus and we have to give the password so now the root is back if we type id then the username then it will show us the user id for that john and group id for john so the primary group for the username john will be john itself and if we add john to some other group then it will become the secondary group for John so since we haven't allocated any group for the John the group ID or the group for user John is John itself you can see here John and the group ID is 1001 and now let's talk about group to create group we use the command group add and then you have to give the name for that group so let's give the name of uh, sales
and let's create one more group group add it so we just created two groups sales and it and we can view the groups through slash etc slash group and at the bottom we will see this sales and it groups that we just created now let's allocate a group for the user john to allocate this sales group to john we can type user mod dash a capital z then the group name sales and the username that is john okay now if we check id and john then you can see the primary group for the user john is john itself and now since we allocate the sales group to john the secondary group for the john is sales and if we check the id for paul user then as you can see we haven't allocated any groups for the paul user so let's allocate this it group to the user paul so you can uh, use the command user mod minus a capital z then the group name that is it and the username that is paul now if you check the id paul then you can see the it group has been allocated to the user paul and now let's see how to delete the group and how to delete the user let's delete this sales group to delete the group we can use the command group del and then the group name sales now the sales group has been deleted and since the john user was given this sales group and now we have removed the sales group now again john will be allocated to its primary group that is john itself so if we check id john then you can see the group for john is john itself uh, we don't have sales group anymore to delete the user we can use user del command and to delete the user john we can type user del john now press enter so it said john is currently used by the process 5735 so let's try to delete paul user let's see if it is used by the process or not so the both users are being used by the process so now to delete these users first we have to kill all the processes that are being used with the user john and paul and then we have to reboot the system so i'll try to kill the process with the user john and let's reboot the system it's being uh, rebooted in the virtual machine or in the virtual box so i'll pause the video and i'll come back after the system reboots now the system has been rebooted now let's try to delete that user john so we have to type user del and then the username john so if we use this command user del john it will delete the user john but in the home directory so if we go to the home directory right now sorry slash home and type ls then we have uh, john and paul but if we use the user del and john it will delete the user but the home directory for john will still be there so if you want to delete the user as well as the home directory for that user then you have to give one more attribute that is minus r so you have to type user del minus r and the name of the user that is john in this case 
now press the enter so if you type ls then you can see we just have one user left that is Paul and here Paul is a local user and if you want to make this user an administrator then you have to allocate this user to the group named wheel so let's allocate the Paul to the wheel user using user mod minus a capital Z wheel and then the username Paul so now we made the Paul user an administrator let's switch user to Paul and when we make a user an admin or when we make the user the super user then by logging in from that user we can use the sudo command sudo and sudo stands for super user do and we will learn about this command in the future but sudo command is used to run those commands that can be run by the root user and not by the local user so when we allocate the wheel group to a local user then it will become the super user and we can use the sudo command with that user which is really helpful if we don't know the uh, password for the root and if we are able to use the sudo command then we don't have to switch to the root user to execute the administrative command so in this lesson we learned about how to create the user how to create the group and how to allocate groups to the user thank you for watching and that's gonna do it for this video i'll see you soon with the next video till then keep learning goodbye